Hi everyone, my name is Simon O'Brien and welcome to another Death Battle Prediction video. And it's going to be General as Death on my Kame Got Killed vs Grateful Buster from Fairy Tail. Now, the information I'm going to present in this video is basically the same as I did for my Quick Thoughts video I made last year, which was a uh, As Death vs Grey Quick Thoughts video. And um, this time I will be expanded a little bit more into detail and all that because I now have seen most of Fairy Tail, but I also read all of the Akamega Kill manga uh, series and also seen the anime itself. So there's that. So I'm actually got enough information on Grey Full Buster, despite me not finishing the final season, but at least I got good enough info thanks to a couple of friends of mine. So yeah, now consider this as my definitive thoughts video and. I gotta say, this, at for first glance, this is actually a very close fight, and I'll explain why. And, um, well, there you go. So, without further ado, let's begin with the uh, stats. Now, for strength, now, this is actually a very interesting category. Um, I will say, while Ezeth can actually slice through steel and also cut through time, which is Tatsumi's final form, which is much stronger than ice, anyway, which I'll get into later on, um, I think in terms of physical strength, like say hand-to-hand -hand combat and fits, fists and all that, I think Grey has this, like he's able to break through buildings and also uh, take down um, Natsu multiple times and all that, and uh, yeah, also he could scale to Natsu's strength feet, which he can actually punch it through giant monsters and all that, which is really cool, so there's that. So strength is more like Almost even, although I was leaning towards grey for that department. But then we go into speed. Now, speed is very important here because um, you got to do a couple of um, factors here to consider to make it a definitive edge. So, without scaling, like say, Esdeath and grey alone, Esdeath actually has the advantage in terms of speed. I mean, she's able to take down, uh, say, Susano and... Uh, dominate Akame in terms of speed, and base Akame, believe it or not, can slice through multiple guys in millions of pieces in just under a nanosecond. Now that is that alone is, surpasses most of, if not all, of fairy tale characters, except probably Urza, who's actually close enough to um, go to that speed level, or even surpass it, depending on how you see it. But um, I'm very confident because of Urza, I mean, Ezdeth actually um, be dominating base form Akame in their final fight, in both versions of the manga and the anime, I'd say she has the definitive speed advantage. This is without scaling though. Now, with scaling, now this is another really interesting um, short edge here, because um, Grey can scale to Natsu, which is, who is also hypersonic, and um, I, I'm i not sure if he scales to Urza though, but I it, because I in terms of combat speed, I think Grey is a little slower than Urza Scarlet, so, uh, there's that. Although he is still hypersonic, uh, Grey. I'll, I'll give him that. Or maybe massively hypersonic, which I'll give him that as well, which is understandable. So, if you think Grey is actually faster than Ezdeath, that's perfectly fine. I mean, this is just my opinion anyway. But, ultimately, I will say Ezdeath still wins the speed gap here because, um, she even actually fought evenly matched with, um, Little Warhorn State Akame in the manga. Well, in the anime, it's more like a... The, uh, that version of Akame actually uh, dominated the uh, anime version of Ezdeath, but the manga version actually had the fight much more evenly matched. In fact, it, during that state, I think that Ezdeath is just as quick or slightly quicker than uh, Little Warhorn State Akame in the manga, so there you go. Um, so speed, it goes to Ezdeath, but yeah, it's more, it's more like uh, it could go either way with the speed. It depends on how you see it, so there's that. Now, Durability. Now, this is a very important factor here. This is actually much more interesting than you think. Now, um, Grey, in my opinion, has more feats for durability than Ezdeath. I mean, he has tanked attacks from Natsu, who also is able to push back a mountain-sized god and with his fire-based attacks. So, I am safe to assume that not, uh, not Natsu, uh, Grey can uh, do that, that much damage from Natsu, because they did fight each other a lot, so there's that. And, um... I don't really think that uh, Ezdeath has any done anything really doable compared to that. Like, although she did take a full-on punch by Tatsumi, which took, which pushed back or sent um, Shiko Taizer, which is the Emperor's Weapons Taigu, which I hope I'm pronouncing it right, it's a Shiko Taizer, or uh, whatever. And um, it's the size of a mountain and sent it flying backwards. And um, but when Ezdeath took that punch, she wasn't severely injured. So there's that. Now, 
that's her best durability feat, right? Um, and I ultimately don't think it stacks up to Gray's durability and all that. Although, I will factor in other stuff later on in this video, so there's that. But for now, I'm going to say Gray is more durable than Ezra due to having more feats and better defenses with his ice, which I'll get into later on. So, the three main categories are done. Now, for the most part, it's, it comes to a solid tie in terms of stats, although with Gray having slight edges in um, physical strength and... Um, Durability, well, a little bit of a, a substantial edge in durance of durability, but um, Ezep has a really good shot with um, speed advantage over Gray, so it, it actually does go either way. But we now go into the other categories here, so we have to go into, say, skills. Now, in terms of skills, I have to say, uh, while Gray is a very skilled wizard with his ice magic, uh, Ezep has trained to in combat all her life like she's way older than gray and um she's uh, she's done it since she was a, a girl so there's no real contest here i think Earth's death is actually much more skilled than gray well and and in terms of experience take it for a grain of salt i think experience actually does matter here as well like gray has fought ice mages in the past whereas as death actually fought really high um characters with really high um stats i mean that's what i mean and uh like say susano who's actually 1000 years old mind you susano is 1000 years old right so keep that in mind so as it actually has fought someone who's actually more experienced than her believe it or not so there's that now um so experience is more like a tie although i would say probably gray because he has more feats and since fairy tales a much longer series than the can't make a kill I w i'm more leaning towards gray for experience and he also has experience with ice users whereas as is mainly the only ice user in this um in her in the can't make a kill although that there, there's a multiple tigers and all that so you never know if there's another ice user that has a different tiger and all that but i have never seen anything else to suggest that it's just another ice based attack uh, uh, ice based tiger aside from demon extract which i'll get into later on so experience probably goes to gray i'll say gray just with the more feats and like fairy tale and all that so there's that but now here we go now um abilities now this is the fun bit this is this, this is actually the most important part of the video okay so um with abilities uh i say gray has more options like he can do ice clones he can do like a ceiling technique that actually kills anyone that goes near him i believe it's like a shell attack or something like that and um he can also eat ice now this is another important factor here because um uh, what i've seen from gray in fairy tale i have not seen him eat ice as like the size of a mountain at like a full goal and um so I'll get into this later on with another ability from Ezdeth, but I, if if Gray actually has done a feat that is able to be like a, a mountain-sized ice block in one goal, please let me know because um as of now uh, I've actually leaned him to say like boulder-sized ice block. So there's that. Now, now other feet uh, uh, other feats, other abilities for Gray is like ice uh, shards and all that, like what Yashni does and all that with the ice uh, shards attacks and um. He can also create ice weapons, like an ice hammer, ice sword, ice daggers, ice axes, ice spears, and ice shields, and all that. And uh, he can also, ha in my opinion, has better defenses with ice than Ezdeth, although Ezdeth can defend with her own ice anyway, so it's pretty close. Now, and also, um, Ray, I believe, can fly, or is it more like more jumping and all that? Can he fly? Or let's see, I have to rewatch Fairy Tale again, but there's that. So, um, there you go. Um, that's main. That's the main stuff on um, Gray's abilities. Now we go into Ezdeth, which she she basically has virtually the same abilities as Gray, although um, she has Haggle Spun, which is like a huge ice block that is like the size of a mountain that can crush through danger beasts. The size of mountains is like as heavy as Gamera from um, the Gamera series. Yeah, uh, this is actually a very powerful ability. Um, whether or not I think Gray can endure that attack, I'm not sure, because, uh, yeah, it is a huge, huge attack. Like, it's not just ice, it's also physical force you have to consider here. See, this is interesting as well, because um, while Gray is actually resistant to ice, I don't think he's immune to ice like Natsu is immune to fire. Um, he has been harmed by ice attacks before, so keep that in mind, or we'll get into that in the end of the video. So there's that. And um, 
Other abilities for Ezdeath is that she can um, create ice centaurs, which when she if Death Battle gives her the eye army, uh, this is actually really interesting because the centaurs don't actually stay dead unless Ezdeath is gone and all that. So they actually regenerate themselves in the battle. This is actually from the manga only, but I assume Death Battle is going to use the manga version of Ezdeath. So there's that. And um, yeah, this is actually a very powerful uh, trump card, which is a trump card. Now, um, ultimately, Ezdeath also can do like ice walls. and She can even shatter the limbs of other people using her ice and all that. So, uh, like she did with Najida, which is why Najida has a robotic arm, because Ezdeath actually, uh, crushed it with her own ice. So there's that. And, uh, atomized it. So there's that. Now, um, other abilities for Ezdeath. Now, I'm going into her trump cards now. Well, I'll go into trump cards for both sides, actually. Now, Grey has the Demon Slayer, uh, um, form. Now, this, this is actually going to be his best, uh, part of the fight here, because I actually do think... If Grey reaches this form, um, he actually has a really good chance of winning here. So there's that. Um, it substantially boosts his stats and all that. He can even do, uh, like, say, a bow and arrow feet and all that with his attacks. And um, even punch so hard, it will actually crush the opponent, which is really, really impressive. I would have given that. And then we go into other trump cards for Ezdeath now. Now, Ezdeath has Commander-in-Chief. Now, it depends on what Death Battle is going to do with his feet, because... Um, what I've seen in the manga, right, in a Kamega Kill manga, before the f final fight, Ezdeath created, like, say, a continent-level blast that made the entire empire and the entire country, or the continent for that matter, go into a winter state. Now, I did not do any calculations for this feat because I, it, it's up to Death Battle for what they're going to do, but for what I've heard, apparently it's just 70... Pedatons underneath um, Naruto's chakra of explosion feet. So if that's the case, then that means that Ezdeath has contained that much power with her own body, and that is actually really, really insane. Like, I don't think Grey can actually match up to that at all. Well, here's another interesting thing here, though. The Commander in Chief ability actually boosts uh, Ezdeath's power substantially. Like, she now is able to go into an ice mech, which is like. Involved, nearly nearly indestructible because Akame did try to um, dent it with her sword and uh, it mostly did not do a lot of great results. I mean, it did crush through some of the ice, but not all of it. And uh, this ice mech is, should be able to make solidify as death as also being pretty resistant to ice because the ice mech was actually covering as death's entire body and she wasn't even freezing to death at all. So, like. Believe it or not, guys, I think Ezeth is actually resistant to ice as well. So there you go. Something interesting. And also, even if Ezeth loses a limb, she actually regrows, regrows, uh, regenerates it back with her own ice, with, with an ice sword, which is really cool. And um, yeah, so she's not really going down without a fight here, really. So she does have a couple of tricks that most people seem to overlook. Like she can create ice armor around her waist to um, protect her. She can even fly. Now that's really important here because with if Grey does try and attack Ezdeath and she goes up to flying mode, he's gonna have to try and tag her first, which I do think he can tag her because he has experience with flying characters before. So I actually do think it is like not really much of an edge for Ezdeath, but she does have a mobility advantage for a moment at least. But by far the most important question here is the um, if Grey can actually survive one last ability against Ezdeath which is Mahatma. Now, Mahatma is a time stop, okay? So now, interestingly enough, in the manga, there is um, a feat from Tatsumi that he actually, he had done it twice. He's actually resisted the, the effects of the, the time stop, but, and um, Tatsumi was able to move slightly during the time stop, which also surprised Ezdeath. But um, at, the, at the second time, though, um, Ezdeath actually sliced Tatsumi with one slice and it almost killed him, so there's that. Now, um, the question is, uh, that most people are asking, which this will ultimately come down to what Death Battle does, can Grey resist the time stop? Now, I did a lot of thought about this, and this is actually a really surprising answer. I actually do think that Grey will not resist the time stop. The time stop is actually not ice-based, it's actually is a complete time stop. Now, 
most people think it's actually like ice base because it, as that says i think everything is going to be encased in ice and all that but interestingly enough the um if it was actually ice base how come ice of course even in the manga they stay frozen then what what does it mean though if you are resistant to ice and all that how does that affect a time stop and all of that? Like, how does it resist the time stop? Even if Gray is resistant to the time stop, he has to, he is probably going to be like really slow at that moment. And Ezzet has more than enough time to slice his limbs off and um, cut his head off and all that during that time stop. So, there you go. So, you will be thinking that I'm leaning towards Ezzet here with a lot of um, confidence, but no, this is actually very close. Now, Another question I have been um, seeing though, and been asked by, by one of my friends, is if Grey's Devil Slayer magic can work on Esdeath because she uses the Demon Extract, which is a, her source of power, okay? Now, I also did a lot of thought on this, and in my honest opinion, believe it or not, Esde I mean, uh, 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 Grey's Demon Slayer magic, the, the, like, in the, like harm the soul or make the Esdeath's blood boil because she has Demon Extract, Will not work. Now, the thing is, while it's called Demon Extract, but because it's just a name, um, the Demon Extract is actually from a danger beast, but not an actual devil, like a demon lord or something like that, like Satan. The Demon Extract is just a name for it. It's like, it basically makes people turn crazy and insane and all that. So, um, Grey's blood boiling thing, because of the uh, Devil's Extract stuff, uh, doesn't really work like that that against the demon extract, but he does have other ways to win this fight like like I said He's durable enough to tank most of Ezdeath's attacks and um, If he can survive the time stop, I think he does have a solid chance of winning here So ultimately well originally I was going to say Ezdeath is going to win I actually am on the fence now because this can go either way. It depends on what death battle does so ultimately uh this is actually a very tough fight. This is possibly the closest fight in death battle history, in my opinion. And, uh, well, I, I love Ezdeath so much. And I really do like Grey Full Buster. He's, these are two of my favorite Ice Elemental users. And, uh, this is so hard. Um, and many people saying Grey would win do have really good points. And many people saying Ezdeath wins do they do have good points as well. So, uh, I, I... I'm actually stumped here. Possibly, I might have to... I'm going to have to say, in my honest opinion, I'm going to call this a tie, a wash, really. I'm going to see what Death Battle does. I really, really want this to be the most epic fight they'll ever do. Even though this is not a season premiere or a season finale, I really, really, really want this to be a really good fight in the end. So ultimately, I'm going to say... Yeah, I'm going to sit out on this one, guys. I really do think this is a really close fight. Um, Well, Grey has the slight advantage in terms of strength and durability, e, and um, Ezzeth has the substantial speed advantage. It's just that other categories like Ice abilities and uh, the Trump cards, they cancel, they cancel each other out for the most part. Although Ezzeth is more skilled in combat, whereas Grey has more experience due to feats. Yeah, it's just so close. It is so, so close. Um, yeah, I, I'll i be rooting for Ezdeath, but I will not be surprised if Grey actually pulls out a victory, which I'll, I really ro will be rooting for both characters. I mean, while Ezdeath is one of my favourite Akamega Kill characters, you got to admit, Leone is the best Akamega Kill character. So, ultimately, in the end, I'm going to say this is a tie, guys. So, sorry if I didn't make a conclusive answer, but I do think... This, is, this can go either way. I'm just going to watch the death, death battle for fun, actually. Yeah. It, it's just... It's too epic to make a winner out of it. I mean, it's they're going to say it's a very close fight. And um, whoever wins, I'll be happy. I mean, I'm a big fan of Fairy Tale, but I'm more bigger fan of our Kamega Kill. So there's that. So anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching.